What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin Distant and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Leverage. This is now episode 20. Can you believe that? I can't. If you've not seen episode 19, which is literal porn, go ahead and watch it. Well, assuming that it didn't get taken down because it was quite the <clears throat> quite the interesting episode. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Let's not waste any more time. <laughs> fidget, fidget. Yeah, who wouldn't be fidgeting after all of that? Fidget, fidget. Oh. 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 Why is she screaming? She's kind of dumb. Dang, she really slept with him? Ain't no way. Well, yes, yeah, I mean, yeah, she did. Mm, yeah. Yes, she did. Huh? Just a little bit. <laughs> uh oh. Great timing, Mina. You ruined it. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, she got cream pie. Oh, yeah, she got cream pie. Oh, yeah, ビビドが可哀想ですわよ。おおまいガード。ごめんなさい。ゆうべはどこにいたんですの?ゲティングクリーンパイ。うん。メイキングベイビーズ。イエー。ゆうたんそうや。カモン。ワッシュウィドゥ
No more porn episode, please. Not an entire porn episode, please. Not again. That was a lot. That was overstimulating. Although I was not. Never mind. We called Chieka back over today. Partially to fully fill her on what happened yesterday. Considering she's going to be an aunt. Considering two full days had passed, all the tension Chieka had left due to the consulate and had dissipated. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Maybe what I'm lacking in the little sister department was made up for with lady friends. What about it? What is it, Zoe? Zoe? <laughs> But forget about that. They look nothing alike. Nothing. They don't even have the same eyes. Not the hair. Nothing. N knock it off. <laughs> Chick and I were seriously just ordinary siblings and weren't especially close or anything. And you didn't say anything, Ale? アニウェなどとは故障せぬのですね。そうね。日本では親族であれば両親だけでなく兄弟姉妹もそうした呼び方をすると聞いたのだけど、私も昔はオルクのことにそうやって呼んでたんですけど。That's when you started calling me Orokun out of nowhere. Yeesh, for my little sister, you're awfully conceited. <laughs> Why? Y you don't need to do that. What is it? Chieka? <laughs> what is it? Chieka? Do you want something from your Oni chan? I'll do whatever you ask. Good call, Chieka. What do you mean, gross? What a gruesome sister. Get me up, princess. That's what she said. I was prepared for this since my girlfriend was a public figure, but it was still embarrassing when my relatives got so worked up over her. That's so cool. They should play together. Oh. They made a connection through an unexpected avenue. あなたたちの音楽にも興味があるわ。軽音楽というのはバンド活動なのよね。はい。そっちはもうやめたんですけど。うん。そ、そうね。宮間沙織さんだったかしら。ギターが抜けて活動できないのよね。えっと。はい。
Ugh. Well, it was true that I would shy away anytime someone brought up piano recitals up until I met Sobe. Shirko shrugged. Sobe and Alessan giggled. Dang it, this man looks so lame in front of Sobe. Well, that thought ran through my mind. She blushed and let out an awkward laugh. He's her boyfriend. What? You two haven't made any progress yet? Talk about pure. Then again, I probably moved faster than most guys since I made love to a princess on the same day we confessed our feelings to one another. I will tell on Christmas, was it? Go tell Torio to make his move already. <laughs> she blushed bright red and became mindful of Sylvia and Nelly's son. Yeah, that was a little vulgar. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Pedro the ladies in the group were upset. It's nothing like that. Oh, shut up. Doria would say the same thing. Speaking from a man's point of view, I'd rather go someplace warm and enjoy a delicious meal than get involved in some shiny, sparkly, ultra romantic light show. She doesn't know. Okay, got it. Hmm. This conversation was veering in an awful direction. Sylvie-san. Everyone adores him? Hmm, I don't know, man. <laughs> so we clung to my arm. Calm down, we can still play this off. Oh. Alrighty, that was quick. She gave me a smooch on the cheek. Okay. Now she'd gone and done it. Uh oh. <laughs> Calm down, Ella. First, take a deep breath. Then, write a pledge stating you won't take my life. Sylvia and I had hidden our relationship from Mina chan, but I really wanted to keep it a secret from Ellison for a little while longer, namely because I expected this sort of outcome. I gently told Reina to not say anything either, but. Huh, yep. You're cute, so I'll forgive you, Sylvia. With that said, please stand between us so Ellison doesn't kill me. Yeah, we don't, we, none of us believe it. Yeah, it's for real. Oh yeah, Cheka, if anything happens to me, tell mom and dad that your big brother found happiness. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. I assumed that someone would be so mad she'd burst into flames, but this surpassed all of my expectations. Phew, looks like I was safe and I didn't need to worry about her instantly looping my arm off her anymore. Just what? Just tell her about last night too. Oh, let's <laughs> You have? Oh. That's not very nice. <laughs> Guess that's fine as long as you don't rip my arm off. 
Oh, whoa, strict. I've been pretty pampered these days, but this reminded me that I was in a pretty bizarre situation from the second I enrolled at Noble Academy. Good idea. Bro, you got all the colors of the rainbow here. You got Blanco, Negro, Red, Blue, Green, Yellow. Ma Mayon? Is that like maroon or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a lineup of black suited guards standing nearby. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about bad timing. I rushed into things at first and I should have expected it to be a day I'd live to regret, but I never thought it would have come so soon. Maybe I should leave my sister a will. Seriously begin to think that, but... オロカサタと思うけれど、私は王の本気で愛しています。宿服せよとは申しません。しかし、理解はしてください。私は彼に惹かれ、思いを遂げました。故に皆が彼に危害を及ぼすようであれば、皆の思う通りの反応があることも理
ハッピーエンドになってくれてよかった。It's not over yet, what do you mean? Ryo gave me a hearty laugh. This bitter woman was unusually overjoyed. これでも思い残したことねえや。うん。やりたかったことは全部終わった。Ryo looked very exhausted. She had no regrets? That mean. What does that mean? That's a little concerning. Why is she saying it like that? Maria got in tight. Oh, I'm going to eat a so this already. Hotel and no buy so that I can't see so guy the fruit that I can only go no chicken. So good to eat a mess. Joga Saki no Joe Sanga, you see the show car. Can't they meet a more my massa? Congo you could it or still hear us. という形でしょうねそんなうちの芸能事業の柱なのにというか龍造寺はマスコミ戦術に強いだけで芸能事業はさんさんたるありさま彼女せっかく音楽業界にコネもできてこれからバンバンをしていこうと思ってたのにそのご利用しされるのが嫌だから始まる前に逃げた感もありますけどねどうしよう。なんとか音楽で新しいスターを見つけないと。あ、シルビア様、ピアノで商売する気ないかな。うちに扱える玉じゃないでしょう。だよね。<笑> no, I thought we were done with that guy. Oh no. キンイロラブリッツ。Uh. Monday the 18th. いよいよ冬休みですね。Sure is. 先輩すごい元気。Of course. It's exciting since it means our vacation is about to start. そうですか。Oh? You're not looking forward to it, Akane-chan? 長いお休みに入ると友達と会いにくくなるから。Ah. Many students at Noble Academy, especially the girls at this storm, went straight home wherever. Whenever we were on break, those in the dorm probably had family that lived far away and it had to be difficult for them to freely see and spend time with them. When are you going home? I see. Chika insisted I visit my parents on New Year's, so I'd probably head home at the last possible second. I wonder how much time I'd have to see Silly. Managing my winter break schedule sounded rough. But hey, winter break is still the best. Ayo, <laughs> have a girl. The end of term ceremony always makes me feel like a little kid again. Woohoo. Come on, Akane chan. Woohoo with me. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Why? No. That's the power of winter break. Or maybe expelling all that pent up energy from your belly was enough to work up your son up. Woohoo! Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, master. Woohoo! An excited student suddenly joined our ranks. Winter break. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> clap, clap. Woohoo. What's wrong, Kikuchio? You look down in the dumps. I'm going to go to the next group of 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 the あ、このクリスマスにイルミネーションで集客を図り、一大イベントとするはずだったのですが、イベントは中止。自慢だった日本庭園は踏み荒らされてぐちゃぐちゃ。Oh no! He showed me his smartphone. <clears throat> ah, right, right, right. 
興味本位な下世話な野獣馬が殺到していまして、はあ、うちのホテルがおかしな方向に注目されないか不安です。サーバーサー何か策を打たないとやはり率直に人の印象を変えるには食でしょうか That sounds good. Better learn about our relationship directly, but as for everyone else, our classmates rushed over with a tablet in hand, which had published a story about our kiss. That was how our classmates found out. What should we do? It wasn't as if we could make, couldn't make it through this by saying it was an accident, but. Yeah, yeah listen to that, Yaka. <laughs> Just not helping. <laughs> 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 Whenever this happened, so we told the full truth. Oh boy. In a matter of mere days, all of Japan learned about our relationship. Nice. Very nice. So, t h e a i r f e l t h e a e r felt heavy. Not that I had high hopes for my grades anyway. I'd been hitting the books like crazy lately to make my dream of becoming a diplomat a reality, but the damage may have been already been done and my efforts were in vain. There was one thing I was curious about, though. There was a comprehensive evaluation category on every Noble Academy report card, and it was unique to this institution. That single grade was based solely on the students' expert planning classes and were favored over their other studies. That didn't mean you could neglect your other classes as they valued devotion to one's schoolwork. But it would have missed the entire point of this academy if a student would have focused solely on their studies and ignored their expert planning classes. To that end, it was a complete evaluation of your general studies and accomplishments from your expert planning course. course. It also served as your ranking at Noble Academy. The evaluation came in four grades from A to D. A meant you did well, B meant you put in a decent effort, C meant you should work hard going forward, and the D required special attention. The concept of repeating a year or expulsion was essentially non existent in Noble Academy. Any judgments that would result in repeating a year or expulsion from typical academies would be reflected in this D evaluation. This didn't come with any sort of penalty, but was unmistakably the brand of a failure. My goal was to become a diplomat, I obviously, like to avoid that. Oh, we're nervous. Yes. I was a little nervous. My rating was, uh. Don't look. She blurted out thoughtlessly. <laughs> A C, huh? Thank goodness. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Why is she not so proud about that, though? She whipped out her report card. She was putting in the effort with her expert planning course, but her grades were less than stellar. しかし、最近学習意欲向上の様子が見られる。More or less. Improved will. That was enough to give me confidence. Not that I knew yet whether it'd lead to any results. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, recently. Nani? Sacred. It was no big deal. Just a little bit. Nigaki Saigo da si, Kokoro no Kori ga nai yoni, Kyo wa me i p a i tanashimi ma shou ka! Hai! Our expert planning classes were still in session after the end of term ceremony. Sylvia would probably be free for a while, and she seemed to be having a fun time with those music girls. As for me, what should I do? This was a rare occasion, so I felt like going to listen to Sylvie play. Shh, it's music time. We don't, we don't want to listen to that right now. Nah, this wasn't a setting I could walk in on. Yep. Decided to go my own way. Good idea.、Um, mm. 
でもまだオーロがあちらもあちらでエキスパートプランが忙しいのでしょうそれより今日は重要な会食がありますどうかお早くオーロに会いたいお気持ちは分かりますがこちらからは何も言わない代わり仕事はきちんとすると約束したはずですよはーい<笑> That's unfortunate はあ、uh, I made my way out of the school gate at about the same time the rear end of Sylvie's favorite limousine went out of sight. I missed her, huh? Wish I'd walked out half a minute sooner. Oh well. I could see Sylvie anytime after all. Exactly. I like this song. I give dreams to Mason. What? Why? Right. Elu, do you want to go? Don't you want to go? I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a Uh, yes. I suddenly heard Ellison's voice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Heard a little knowing this trend would continue. The thing, too, is that they just started dating, too, so all they want is to be with each other, even just to like take a dump together, you know, and that kind of sucks. But I mean,. Give it like a few months and then they're gonna be like, yeah, let her go, let her go. At least that'd be me. Uh, yes, mom. She's such a mom. Jeez. Nah, but she's right. The call ended. Huh, <sighs> this sucks. My brand new girlfriend was gone and all I had left was homework? Still, this was another son's way of being mean. I actually thought her encouraging me to do the assignments was her supportive side showing through. Absolutely. What could you do? Time to get to work. To become a diplomat. Alright. I respect the grind. Yup, yup, yup. Good work. Oh no, I thought you'd be gone with her. Oh god. Oh, Mina chan. Oh? Morning already? Yes, ma'am. I didn't pull an all nighter. No. I eventually nodded off. Huh? <laughs> How the heck is a guy like me, who can't even keep up with the academy studies, supposed to do this homework just because I've been working really hard lately? How comical. Given the occasion, I had plopped down at my desk to tackle my homework. However, after several minutes had passed, the formulas became incomprehensible and I'd quickly thrown in the towel. Guess my thoughts were about to short circuit since I wanted to see Sylvie right now. I wonder what Sylvie's doing right now. Huh? But this is a second year assignment. Oh, my bad. My bad, Mina. My bad. Alright. She solved it. Actually, it might not be so bizarre when you consider how brilliant Mina-chan was. So we got nearly straight 100s on her test too, and this was her little sister. Oh my god, and I was just talking about how dumb she is sometimes. Well, maybe she's not dumb. She's probably book smart, but she doesn't seem to be the brightest, like, outside of school. Is what I meant. <laughs> but... Yes, ma'am. Yes. 
being schooled by someone younger than you is a huge blow to the ego. Wow, that was rude. Even if I had to become her sister's boyfriend, Mina Chan still hadn't accepted me just yet. Well, I did think things with her were fine this way. Uh, I It'd probably be better to have her tutor me, but I just couldn't cast away my pride. What should I do here? While I was puzzling over it. <laughs> wait, wait. In that case, please help me too. When Reina turned up, it lowered the psychological herder. Because they're equal in terms of book, I guess. Book smart. With that, I spent my whole day studying. That sounds fun. Uh, not at all. <clears throat> Wow, that's not a lot at all. I thought fire was going to spout from my head, but I'm really grateful you helped us get through it. Whoosh. Thanks, Sizzle. <coughs> I get the fling there are plenty of examples of foolish political figures though. Not that I would name any specific country, celebrity, politician, or otherwise. I respect the grand. Nichan flashed us a quick smile. Good. Me either. Japanese people might just be lax. <laughs> she brushed her hair upwards. Minachan was really cool today. Definitely had a mature feel to her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where'd this come from? Uh, the topic suddenly veered in a strange direction. She seemed like a mature woman, but I guess she was just still a girl. So like she was quite curious when it came to stuff like this. Hey, oh, go away. <laughs> Quit multiplying. I was surrounded in an instant. <laughs> Uh, uh, I obviously couldn't tell them we had the butt flapping activities or anything, but if I misspoke, they'd probably piece it together. Keeping quiet was my only option. My son. <laughs> Wait, I skipped. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. We're good. We're good. My silence prompted Reyna to raise her voice. Dang it! I couldn't even. I couldn't even run away with everyone packed so tightly around me. What should I do? Go away. Uh, I'm telling you. Kiss.の写真は見ましたわ。Go uh, I'm telling you. Uh, they figured me out. Yep, mm hmm. Or not. And so she's being sarcastic. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
のすることでキスを済ませたら次は婚約しかありませんわ。She has to be capping. Ah. That reminded me, s o b i thought sex was non existent outside of marriage, and Minachan was her sister. Didn't sound like she knew anything about sex. Great idea, Reina. Everyone else had reached the room and decided it mustn't defile girls. Pure white art. I'll save things to a girl even more immature than Sylvie. Good job, Mina. Jeez. Hey, homie. Oh, hey. It was the second day of winter break, and Ryo came around later that evening. Homework. Pointed over to the table. Thanks to Mina chan's intense tutoring the past couple of days, I just finished a little while ago. My brain feels like it's on fire. Oh, absolutely not, Go ahead. First, it's s u c k to deal with the smoke smell. Second, there's no actual smoke in here, so put the cigarettes away. Quitting sounds rough. That's about the time your nicotine addled nostrils clear up and you start to become bothered by the tobacco scent that's sunk in your own mouth, huh? Quitting could also make one's lungs feel lighter, increase their appetite, and start to desire sweets and stuff since they'd crave to have something in their mouth. It's not like the toughest stage of quitting was upon her. Well, hang in there a little longer. Christmas is right around the corner.、Uh, I should keep it up, even after Christmas is over. r i a was so dispirited today that she wasn't even lashing out with her usual sarcasm. It was kinda cute.、Uh, She'll be home tomorrow. I think I'll probably get to see her the day after tomorrow. Ah,、oh, this had gotten me down in the dumps with her. No, this is great. We could use the space. This is nice. Two of us sighed simultaneously. Not as much as you are. I used up what energy I had left on my homework. So he's so much smarter than me, and it's starting to weigh me down a little. I didn't need a test to confirm those suspicions. Sylvie was extraordinarily skilled in every perceivable way. She was intelligent, athletic, and a gifted pianist. I was sure it was a net to an extent, but the effort she put in to expand her horizons also played a large part. My concern as to whether I was a good match for her grew bigger every day. Yup, seriously. It's not about that. I braced myself on that aspect from the very beginning. The issue was our specifications, or what you might call our talents or attribute points. If I were to put it simply, she's super cool, isn't she?、Mm. I had no idea what word to use that would accurately describe someone as lovely as Sylvie, but she really was cool. Sylvie could do anything, and she took everything she did for granted. Not only was being capable of that cool, The way she took everything head on with no hesitation only made her even cooler in my eyes. Ella's son and the Knights, as well as the girls from her musical group, probably liked her so much because they were all drawn to how cool she was. And that likely went for me as well. I doubt we're on equal footing. How do you feel about it? I was hoping you'd console me, actually. I felt like crying. <laughs> We're friends, right? Are you telling me you're the sort of person who'd pour salt in a friend's wounds when he's already on the verge of bursting into tears? <laughs> What? That baby play thing kind of got me going a little. 
bro, you have a girl, chill. It's not a big deal. And I don't want to nom on some biddies. I bet nothing would come out of them anyway. <laughs> oh my god. That's the one thing I'm least confident in. So we can accomplish anything she puts her mind to and looks really cool when she actually does show off. I can't do that. I wouldn't look nearly as cool even if I tried. My pro my protecting her initially was based on some misunderstanding and my the blah, blah, blah cannot read. My protecting her initially was based on some misunderstanding and the terrorist incident only caused problems for the people around me. It was the same even in the past. That might be the one aspect we're least equal. Well, that's tough. We are headed back to her place and I was now alone. <sighs> I had been depressed all day. Not getting to see her for two straight days since the start of vacation might have been starting to take its toll on me. Ugh. Just two measly days. The fact she was a princess was irrelevant. Even if I hadn't gotten to see her, it had been an ordinary couple of days. So why was this bugging me so much? Maybe it was because I had no confidence in myself. Huh. Huh? Someone was knocking on my window. Who was it? This was a dorm for rich ladies, so about the only person who would come to get me at the window was Akane-chan in the mornings. Who is it? Opened the window and found... Whoa! Huh? One, why the clapping? Two, why is she here? Three, huh? R right, coming. It was the least likely of suspects, Sylvie. Outside the window was as cold as you'd expect on a December night, and it was windy to boot. Must have been beyond harsh out there without a coat. Aren't you supposed to be back tomorrow? <laughs> Nice, nice. Very nice. That made me happy, but the scale of that comment was too big for my pea brain to handle. Why come in through the window? Oh, I see. You gave them the slip, huh? Oh boy. My phone rang with perfect timing. It was a call from that son. Oh no. That was fast. Uh, I like the Sovi. She mouthed the words. <laughs> You've got it. She called earlier and asked me to meet up at the school, which is where we are now. It'd be great if you could keep watch without interfering. Troops? One heck of a situation sounded like it was unfolding on the other end of the line, but... What are you up to, Sobi? Oh, that sounds going to school to you. Yeah, Ella has had a tendency of doing that since the very beginning of the series. And that's what makes me, like, not like her. Like, I guess she has a job and all that stuff, but... Sometimes I feel like she takes it way too serious, unless maybe that's how it's supposed to be. But even then, I'm like, hmm, hmm. I, I feel like it's a little too much sometimes. Uh, I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> I couldn't really find any fault with that. Let's make sure not to worry her too much. Aww. For all her gloomy scowls, I was sure she felt like she'd done something wrong. Sylvie was so admirable. Speaking of work, will that be all right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So we said it was all good, then fine, I guess. So we shut the room's curtain. 
No light should leak out with the line curtains closed, pretending to be out, huh? I'll get you a drink. I got her some hot milk and handed it to her. So we took a breath. <laughs> not much we can do about it. It's their job and all. This is like actually, it's not the first time, but it's one of the few times where you actually could see it in her face that she's kind of like annoyed with them. And rightfully so. I don't know how she didn't get annoyed sooner. She probably wanted me to take her side as her cheeks immediately puffed up. So cute. In that case, I should have been born as a prince of some country instead of an ordinary Japanese citizen. <laughs> she set out all smiles. I was well aware how much she loved me. I took a seat on the bed. So, Sobi, did you really just sneak out today? You only came to see me? I see. Didn't sound like anything was especially wrong, at least. Good, then. I would keep her company until Alison found this. Come here, Zoe. Pat her my lap. Yeah. Come here. You won't come over? It was only at moments like these where Sobe sat down with the quiet refinement blah, blah, resembling that of a princess. The wonderful sensation of her butt squished against my lap. Go ahead, lean in, lean in. Like this, squeeze. I hugged her. Sobe's face went red, half out of happiness and half out of surprise. How do you like it, princess? This is a throne custom ordered especially for you. Despite her shy, awkward behavior, she didn't seem to dislike it. It's warmer this way, too. Huh? I assumed hot milk would be plenty, but this would definitely be warmer. You bet. <laughs> so we had given her consent, so she must have felt better than having leaned her full weight on me. Good, good. I'm glad to hear you are pleased, Princess. Unfortunately, Princess, this throne has a defect. I place practical jokes upon those who sit upon it. I wrapped both arms around her, one around her belly and the other by her neck. Sylvie's body was held in place perfectly. It's not me. The throne is running amok. Very weird. Just tell it to let you go, and it will. As I embraced her, she happily nuzzled her back against me. Hmm. Nuzzle. Nuzzle. I nuzzled back at her as well. That is what matters most. Squeeze her even tighter. So we looked even happier, in which case I went with the flow and brought both hands to her chest. Rub rub. Oh. Whoops. She struggled all of a sudden I let go. Ah, uh, did you not like it? Oh no, not again, please. Despite how startled she was, she leaned back against me once again. This reaction meant... Squish. Hey guys, touched her biddies over her clothes again and gave her hefty mounds a quick rub. <laughs> oh my god. Ella walks in. With her shoulders and back pressed against me, I could just tell how rigid she was from this newfound sensation. She was nervous. So, do you dislike having your biddies touched? She hesitated a bit, but did say as much. It didn't sound like a lie, so if I would have caressed her biddies again. <laughs> oh, you are kind of tense. Oh, 
だけれどエッチなことをされるんだって思うとなんだか怖がるというか器用というか何なのかしらこの感じ Simply put, it's probably that you're inexperienced. Between sitting on my lap and nosing me with her back, she seemed to love the sort of contact that children would enjoy. But when it came to anything naughty, anything she deemed sexual made her tense. You're normally so quirky, but a late bloomer only when it comes to erotic things. Outstandingly princess like in a certain sense. Don't make strange faces like that. There's nothing wrong with it. Put my hands back on her belly and back. I love the touch like this too. Like that and that. <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Jeez. Give her a ticklish crest all over. She could comfortably accept it as long as they weren't anywhere sexually related, like her chest or her crotch. She looked delighted. In which case, this was plenty. Or so I thought. <laughs> oh. Uh, nah, it's fine, really. Whether it was her biddies, the nape of her neck, or her billy, it didn't change the fact that it was still the skin of a princess that you'd ordinarily never be able to touch. It's just as fun to touch all of it, but. Boop. <laughs> Without warning, she wiggled her. her buttocks against me. Her squishy backside rubbed and squashed against my crotch. Jeez. Stimulated a certain stiff something within and made me let out a bizarre groan. <laughs> You noticed? Jeez. Well, yeah, it would be obvious when she sat on a lap. Right. I knew that. Hmm? She suddenly started to squirm her way out of my embrace. <laughs> Reina? Oh no. What'd you learn? What? <laughs> oh my god.